Welcome sa course natin. Solve pa ulit tayo. So first problem. So yung mga problems dito, medyo komplikadong clock problems. Pero kumpitin natin ng basic concepts lang. No? So first problem nga. It is now between 9 and 10 o'clock. In 4 minutes, the hour hand will be exactly opposite the position occupied by the minute hand 3 minutes ago. What time is it now? So, yung sa unang figure natin, yun yung starting position, original position na uh, starting 9. Dahil nga, between 9 and 10 o'clock. Yun yung magiging reference point natin. So, dito sa pangalawang figure, overlay natin dito kung ano yung mga ay uh, nasa given. So, ginawa ko dito, gray yung original position. And then, dun sa uh, figure natin, uh, sabi, 3 minutes ago now, from now, so, ginawa ko nalang kulay yellow and then nalaman ko na doon doon yung, uh, yung position 3 minutes ago. Kasi ang sabi doon sa isa, in 4 minutes, yung R hand is exactly opposite the position occupied by the minute hand uh, 3 minutes ago. So, kaya nandun sila and then after and then add tayo ng 3. So, approximately nandun yung uh, time now. Tapos add tayo ng 4. So, nandun yung uh, position 4 minutes from now or in 4 minutes. So, ito yung approximate position ng uh, time now. So, zoom natin para mas madaling maglagay ng mga labels. So, yung una. So, ginawa natin na uh, uh, yung... A movement ng R hand denoted ng variable X. So, movement ng R hand mula dun sa original position hanggang dun sa time now. And then, yung Y naman mula dun sa original position galing sa 12 hanggang dun sa time now. And then, yung distance mula dun sa time now hanggang dun sa 3 minutes ago, so 3. And then, 4 minutes from now or in 4 minutes, so 4. Tapos, yung movement ng our hand from now hanggang sa 4 minutes uh, from now so ang sabi dun, di ba yung movement ng our hand is equal to a movement ng minute hand divided by 12 so yung movement ng minute hand natin is 4 so therefore movement ng our hand is 4 over 12 and then yung isa pang variable natin dito yung a so gagamitin natin yung uh, yan yung a uh, kasi Yan yung magiging common variable natin dun sa dalawang equation na uh, mabubuo natin based dito sa mga nilagay nating variables. So yung problem ulit, it is now between 9 and 10 o'clock. In 4 minutes, the R hand will be exactly opposite the position occupied by the minute hand 3 minutes ago. What time is it now? So yung unang equation natin, A plus 4 plus Y is equal to X plus 45. So, yung A, yun yung kulay green, plus 4 yung red, and then yung Y, yung dark blue. So, yung magiging reference natin mula dun sa 12 hanggang dun sa final position ng uh, minute hand or ng R hand now. So, A plus 4 plus Y is equal to X plus 45. Yung X, yun yung movement ng R hand galing dun sa 9. And then 45, yun naman yung distance uh, mula dun sa 12 hanggang 9. Clockwise. And then yung isa pang equation, so 30 is equal to 4 over 12 plus A plus 4 plus 3. Yung 30 naman, yan naman yung uh, distance ng R hand tsaka ng minute hand kapag exactly opposite sila. So 30 minutes or 180 degrees. So, yun naman yung reference natin, yung final position ng our hand 4 minutes from now, tsaka yung, uh, yung position ng minute hand 3 minutes ago. Kaya siya 30 in distance or 180 degrees. So, equals sa 4 over 12 yung kulay pula, plus A yung green, plus 4, plus 3. Yung isa pang relationship, X is equal to Y over 12. So nakikita natin dito, tatlo yung unknown. Meron din tayong ah, tatlong equation. So solve na natin. So isolate natin yun. So A is equal to 30 minus 4 over 12 plus 4 plus 3. So 30 
minus 4 over 12 plus 4 plus 3. So therefore, 22.666 or 68 over 3. So, lagay natin yung isa pang, yung dalawang equation kanina, yung a plus 4y is equal to x o, uh, plus 45. And then, x is equal to y over 12. Substitute natin yung value ng a, which is 68 over 3, at saka nung x, which is y over 12. Therefore, 68 over 3 plus 4 plus y is equal to y over 12 plus 45. And then, subtract natin both sides ng... Uh, y over 12, tsaka ng 68 over 3 plus 4. So, 45 minus quantity 68 over 3 plus 4 times 12 divided by 11. So, therefore, ang sagot natin ay 20. Kaya, the time now is 9.20 dahil yung... Uh, Value natin for y, your movement ng minute hand ay 20. So, the time now is 9.20. Next problem. A man left his home at past 3 o'clock p.m. As indicated in his wall clock. Between 2 to 3 hours after, he returned home and noticed that the hands of the clocks interchanged. At what time did he leave his home? So, meron tayong dalawang figure dito. Yung una, yan yung original possession ng... Uh, clock natin starting from 3. 3 o'clock. Tapos yung isa naman starting from 6. So, yung isa starting from 3 dahil hindi natin alam kung anong oras siya walis ng 3. Ang sabi nga lang, uh, between 2 to 3 hours after he returned home, nakita niya, pagbalik niya, nagkapalit ng position yung our hand, pati yung minute hand. So, yung sa pangalawang figure, nag-start tayo sa 6 kasi uh, hindi logical na mag-start tayo ng 5. Kasi pag tinignan natin yung possession ng, or yung possible possessions, kapag sa 5 tayo nag-start, hindi aabot yun ng 2 hours. So, ang kailangan natin, umalis siya, pagbalik niya, lumipas na oras is between 2 to 3 hours. Kaya start tayo sa 6, hindi rin pwede yung 7. Kasi sa sobra naman yun ng ah, 3 hours. So, yung pinaka-logical natin is, start tayo ng 6. So, pwede nyo itry. So, ito yung maximum na final position natin. Para dyan sa yung final, uh, yung time ng pagbalik niya is past 6 but before 7. Kasi yung pag-alis niya is mga before 3.35. So, solve natin. So, yan yung mga possible na position ng pag-alis niya at ng pagbalik niya. So, ang kailangan natin Itong oras na to. Yung pag-alis niya, kasi yung pagbalik niya, nag-interchange yung uh, hour hand, pati yung minute hand. So, gawa tayo ng equations. So, yung una, yung movement for the hour hand, in relation dun sa original position na 3 o'clock, is x sub 1. Tapos, movement ng uh, minute hand, Galing dun sa original position from 12 is y sub 1. And then yung z, which is yung distance ng hour hand, pati ng minute hand. Yan yung equal dun sa dalawang figure kasi uh, yung final position nila is magkatulad or nag-interchange lang yung hour hand, pati yung minute hand. So yung distance between them is tulad. And then dun sa pangalawang figure, yung x sub 2. Yun naman yung movement ng our hand starting from original position from x and then yung y sub 2 original position ng minute hand hanggang sa final position and then yung z uh, yun yung distance between the minute hand and the our hand so yung unang equation natin 15 plus x sub 1 plus z is equal to y sub 1 15 yun yung distance mula dun sa 12 hanggang 3 or pwedeng sabihin na 90 degrees yun or 15 movements Plus x sub 1, and then plus z. So yung final reference point natin, yung starting reference point, mula dun sa 12 hanggang dun sa uh, position ng minute hand, or final position ng minute hand. So yung una nga, 15 plus, plus x sub 1 plus z, which is equal to y sub 1. And then yung relationship na x sub 1 is equal to, or yung movement ng our hand, which is x sub 1, is equal to movement ng minute hand over 12. Substitute natin. So, therefore, 
So, 15 plus Z is equal to 11. Y sub 1 over 12. Yung isa pa, dito sa pangalawang figure, yung equation natin, 30 plus X sub 2 is equal to Z plus Y sub 2. Yung reference points pa rin natin, mula dun sa 12 hanggang dun naman sa position or final position ng R hand. Kaya dun sa 12 hanggang 6, 30. And then yung sa uh, 6 hanggang dun sa final position ng R hand, yun yung X sub 2. Equal dun sa distance ng R hand, pati ng minute hand, which is Z. Plus yung uh, movement ng uh, minute hand mula dun sa 12 hanggang dun sa final position niya. So Y sub 2. So relationship ng R hand and minute hand. Substitute natin. So ang equation natin, 30 minus Z is equal to 11 y sub 2 over 12. So, isolate natin. Yung isa pang equation, kung mapapansin nyo, dahil ang nakalagay pa lang yung z, y sub 1, pati yung y sub 2. So, isang equation pa, yung y sub 2 is equal to x sub 1 plus 15. Yung uh, reference naman natin dito, mula dun sa 12 hanggang sa possession ng uh, dun sa first figure, yung r hand, Doon sa pangalawang figure, yung final position ng minute hand. So, pag add natin doon dalawa, so 45. So, is equal to 11 y sub 1 over 12 plus 11 y sub 2 over 12. And then, yung x sub 1 equal in sa y sub 1 over 12. So, substitute natin yung value for y sub 2. So, x sub 1 plus 15 and then yung x sub 1 naging y sub 1 over 12. So, isang variable na lang, masasolve na natin, multiply ng uh, 12 over 11 both sides para kahit paano, mas simple tingnan yung sa right side. So, hindi masyado marami yung over-over. And then, subtract both sides ng uh, 15, or oh nga, ng 15. And then, simplify natin yung sa right side. So, 12 over 12 plus 1 over 12, kaya 13 over 12. So, 45 times 12 over 11 minus 15 then times 12 divided by 13 so 31.4685 so kunin natin kung ilang seconds so kanina minutes so tanggalin natin yung integer so 31 yung decimal lang then multiply sa 60 so, 28.1118888 seconds. So therefore, sagot natin yung value ng Y1 is equal to 31.4685 minutes or 31 minutes and 28.1118888 seconds. So, pwede ang sagot natin dito, the man left his house at 3.31 and 28.11 seconds or 3.31.4685 minutes.